Well, a good Wednesday evening to you. We're going to begin tonight with the winding down of COVID-19 guidelines. Four years ago, we learned the difficult lessons of social distancing and isolation, all to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Now, those rules are increasingly a thing of the past. Channel 7's Brenda Lipinski is on your side tonight. She is live in our studio. Brenda, I know you talked to some people around town about COVID today. I sure did, Chris, and they told me all about their COVID experiences, all really thankful that things have changed. Arkansans are taking a look back at the COVID-19 pandemic that once plagued the world. So I got COVID, my husband got COVID, half of my family got COVID, but we were all very fortunate to have very mild symptoms. I had an essential job, so I would have went places if they weren't closed. <laughs> Saying COVID is not something they think about anymore. People going to concerts and going to bars, so we're back to normal. But sometimes it does come up. It still kind of gives you that anxiety of, oh, should I, <laughs> should I wear my mask or should I maybe not talk to this person today or I'll just send an email instead. <laughs> The CDC releasing new guidelines this month, getting rid of their five-day isolation requirements and advising people to stay home until symptoms improve and no fever is present, telling people to take precaution the next five days after returning to work. For now, Arkansans are just looking to live their best life. I'm just happy to be free. <laughs> Now, according to the CDC, over 98% of the U.S. population now has some protection against COVID-19 from vaccination or previous infection. On your side, I'm Brenda Lipinski. Okay, Brenda, thanks so much. One other note, the U.S. government is going to suspend its program offering free at-home COVID-19 testing kits effective Friday. You can still order those kits between now and then. At the address on your screen, it's covidtest.gov.